churches, and Scott Simmons joins us now with that. Scott? You know, it's always so moving to see a packed church, no less here than the case today. As we witness so many people, hundreds, thousands of people, trying to come to grips with it all. On this National Day of Prayer, one of the oldest cathedrals in the nation would once again serve in a time of need. I lived through the Second World War, and I know what people are in store for. But no one was prepared for the anguish. Others wrestled with the conflict, really, of prayerful remorse and bitter anger. I know we're in church, it's supposed to be National Day of Prayer, but I'm serious. I seriously hope that we, when we find out who it was exactly, we make them suffer and pay for what they've done. We need God's help. That's why we're here. Perhaps it is one of those times when there is strength in numbers. I think if any time there's been a critical need for all races, denominations, and genders to come together, now is definitely the time. The challenge is to almost superhuman charity. I just feel so bad for the people and their families. I just think that they need everyone. A tragedy far away, but still much too close to just brush aside. I have cousins, relatives, and y'all. You know, I mean, it could have been them. It could have been them, and I thank God that it wasn't. How do we confront hatred with goodness? So New Orleans takes its place in a congregation of cities in prayer. And at 1245, a moment of silence with the rest of a nation that grieves. A range of emotions because of an unexpected national tragedy. Many people here today reminded us all that while today is a day of prayer, there will be many more to come.